Well, you heard enough about uh, finance and fintech. I'm here to talk about something else. How many of you using iPhone? Raise your hand. Yeah. So I think the majority of the population is using iPhone. Without asking, I will say that over 95% of the people that use this amazing device will not automatically will not automatically update the software when they get this message. You have an iOS um, software update. Press, press I agree, and then reboot your phone, and then we know, we know how it goes. So my name is Shlomi Ben Chaim. I'm the CEO and co-founder of, uh, of JFrog, and I'm here to talk about software updates, not about finance, something else. You might call it DevOps, which is the darling of the enterprise software mm -hmm. lately. Maybe you heard about it, maybe not, and I will try to keep it uh, simple. So what, what is today's user experience? And it's a, it's a bit different, and you usually see it with our kids, but, uh, but I'm sure that you will all agree with me. The first thing that we care about is our battery life, right? It turns red, you see the 10%, you feel it in your heart. You start to get some cold sweat. The second thing is connectivity. You go to Hawaii, you go to a vacation with your family, first thing you ask at the lobby, do I have Wi-Fi? You registered here, first thing you ask, what is the Wi-Fi password? That's our user experience. It's not just ours, it's our next generation and ge the generation after. And the last thing is how updated my software is. Because if I carry this device, and this is now my world, and I want to be connected, and I want to have my battery, I also want it to be updated. And in this world, the one asset that you have to manage, and you have to promote, and you have to distribute, is the software package. No company in the world today will pack together tons amount of software and code and ship it to, your, to the end user. And just to prove my point that this is part of our user experience, I'm sure that if I will ask how many of you know what version of Facebook you use, you will not be able to tell me what version is it, or what version of your Twitter you use, what version of, uh, of, of LinkedIn. You don't know, because you don't care about software updates. It's just happening in the background. It's part of our user experience. And uh, in order to be able to push so many software releases, we have to go down to the software packages and just to update what needs to be updated several times a day. This is where we are. This is where JFrog is. This is why people call us the binaries people. This is the piece of software that you update every hour, every, every day. Um, in a nutshell, JFrog is a 300 people uh, company. Uh, we are operate from six different offices worldwide. Uh, four different products, 4,000 customers, um, VC-backed from 2012. Uh, we are the only providers of the um, software flow, enterprise software flow, which is also highly available. We are uh, the provider of uh, the universal DevOps. We, don't, we are not focusing on what technology you use. We are focusing on your user experience, so whatever your environment is, we can support you. And then, um, and lastly, and, and maybe the most important thing is that the world, I'm not sure it's news here, but uh, two years ago it would be news if you would say it on stage, the world is not going to the cloud. In JFrog, we say that we are amphibian, and the world is going to be hybrid. Yes, the cloud is, is a big part of it, and it's also a trigger of whatever we see in the software world. But everybody wants to have the flexibility to be in the cloud and on-prem. Um, we are growing very fast, so without getting into details, I would just say that in the past three years, we had over 1,000% growth in all three different uh, KPIs. Um, and uh, it's due to these amazing, amazing customers we have. Uh, I mentioned 4,000 customers. Some of them are on this slide. We are honored to have them in our portfolio. But the main goal of this slide is not to show off with the logo that all of you know. The main goal of this slide is to wake you up and say DevOps is everywhere. 
It's not about the industry, it's not about the vertical, it's not about the size, it's not about what you do, it's just everywhere. And JFOG is growing in a pace of 100 new logos per month. Just in 2017, we added 1,500 new logos to our portfolio, meaning, putting aside JFOG as a company, meaning that this, this domain in the enterprise software is booming, it's essential. Uh, so what, what is it that we really do in simple words? There is, on the right hand, the side of the developers. And they need to take those software package and put it some, somewhere. They will put it in our big software warehouse, which we call Artifactory. Then they need to distribute it, to push it forward. Or as we say in JFrog, to leap forward, they will distribute it through a package manager on top of a CDN that we call Bintray, our second product. Now, there is another community that got completely freaked out from the, from the moment we start to automate everything. There is no one there on the button that takes the responsibility for software release and software automation. And the security guys got completely crazy about it. They started to be the, bottle, the bottleneck of software releases. This is why we developed X-Ray which is scanning and securing your software flow. And on top of all of this, we develop an admin dashboard that will help you manage uh, uh, the binaries flow. Um, well, hello, Forrester. Just uh, in a very elegant delay of, uh, of five years, we also uh, finally start to see the analysts coming uh, to the industry with the insights of understanding how important software automation for software acceleration is. The machine power together with the developer power need to be managed in an artifact level. This is the software packages that we discussed earlier uh, in this presentation. And it's a crucial part of your software flow and software is everywhere. So if you ask yourself what are the next big five of enterprise software, if I may from, from my a uh, very small place in the industry, I would say that the first thing it, is that we will see more software. Software is everywhere, and you heard the, 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 probably the phrase that software is eating the world, but someone also needs to feed software. This is what we do. This is the software packages. And if you have more software, obviously you have more developers, and those developers are not just increasing by the number of working hands, but also by the number of devices and machines and robots that help them automate this process. So what used to be 10,000 developers sitting somewhere in order to accelerate software, now it's the combination of the developer and the device and the integration between them. Um, we will update all things. We will update all things. So um, according to the last survey I saw, each one of us carry at least 14 different devices that are being updated every day. It's your TV, it's your mobile phone, it's your car. And if you think about Tesla, for example, which is by far the most impressive car I ever drove, I think that you will all agree that this is a technology company, not a car manufacturer. But if you ask yourself, how come you cannot start your Tesla, you cannot start the engine when there is a software update, then you understand that with or without JFrog, this will come. This is the future. This is what we are now working on. Um, the, go, the, the world goes hybrid. This, uh, we spoke about that, but also multi-cloud. So you have AWS, Amazon Cloud, and you have Google Cloud, and you have Microsoft Cloud, and you have Alibaba, and you will see more and more. And also the cloud as you know it today would probably be changed to something that you can carry uh, in your pocket, which means, again, more software. And I guarantee, and keep your eyes on the frogs, you will see also more frogs, because if I'm right on the, on the fall, uh, first uh, assumption, then we have much more uh, work to do. Thank you very much.